So when he signed my book, he said, quote, it'd be Hardy. And I think that's testament, testament to his generation, that term Hardy, uh, living through the Great Depression, as his parents did, and a generation where I guess they were uh, deprived quite a lot and had very little. So I guess that, that then put the emphasis on the things that they did have. And, and he was able to appreciate all of that. And in the book, it quotes him saying that he, he was always told, uh, instructed, that uh, to approach everything in life with good cheer, which seems very representative of that era to me and that generation. Times where if I felt like I wasn't hungry enough or if I didn't feel unwell enough, I, I, it made me nervous that that would then ap appear on camera or on screen. You know, and I think with that sort of stuff, you know, when when you you play you're playing a character who's dealing with adversities, and for that reason he's in a certain headspace. A, a lot of the time, it's interesting in all the things that you don't do, and the minimalistic stuff that that re re really define between truth and performance. So I try to favour truth as much as possible, in order to add some validity to the performance. Obviously, Angelina Jolie's a, 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 a household name anywhere in the world. But to be honest, I've been real thankful to be able to, to meet the woman herself, man, and, 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 and work alongside her and see her priorities. And she's very inspiring as a person uh, as well as a professional.